So students, in this video, we are going to cover 1.18, 1.19 and 1.20 question, which is dealing with significant figures and scientific notation. We will solve one by one to find out how we are going to get the answer. So 1.18 is expressed the following in scientific notation. And we have five questions given here. We are going to write answer for each. So remember one thing, when we move the decimal towards the right, you will get negative power. And when you move the decimal towards the left, it's going to be more positive power. So keeping that information in mind, we're going to write down the answer for each of this. So here the first question is 0 0.0048. We need to shift the decimal here up to 4.8. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3. So here it will be 4.8, 10 to the power minus 3. So you're going to write the scientific notation for that number. Now here you have a number with no decimal at all. So starting from the right side, you're going to shift the decimal to the significant number here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here you will get 2.340000, 10 to the power 5. Now the next one is similar to this 8008 from the left right hand side you're moving the decimal towards the left. So 1, 2, 3. So here it will be 8.008 10 to the power 3. Similarly this one 1, 2. So I will have 5 into 10 to the power 2. This will remain the same. 6.0012 10 to the power 0. So 10 to the power 0 is going to be 1 and you eventually get the same answer here. So basically you are doing scientific notation to shift and show the uh, significant figures in your answer. Now in your next question you have 1.19 that is talking about scientific significant figures. So a certain values are given to you. You need to find out how many significant figures are there. So if you look into your textbook, we have certain rules. Uh, and we need to follow those rules to find out the significant figures. So here, first question is 0 0.0025. In this case, we have only two significant figures, which are the non-zero digits here, 2 and 5. So the answer here is 2. Because here in this case, the zeros are present before the non-zero digits. So here the answer is 2. Now here you have a 0 present between 2 non-zero digits. So that 0 is also significant. So totally in the second question your significant figures are 3. In the next one we have 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0. Now here there is no decimal at all. So if there is a number after the non-zero digit all you will have only these numbers which are significant. If you had a zero after this with a decimal, then these zeros will also be significant. But in this number, since there are no decimals at all, so these zeros are neglected. Only the non-zero digits are significant. So therefore, three significant figures only. Now similar to this, you have another question which is 500.0. Now in this case, these zeros would have been uh, the ones which are not significant if there was no decimal. But in this case, since it's a decimal over here, these zeros are all significant. So therefore, you have four significant figures. In the last one, we have zeros between two non-zero digit and a decimal. So all the digits are significant. Therefore, you have five significant figures. So to identify significant figures in NCRT book, we have a set of rules. If we follow those rules, it's easy for you to answer, to find out how many significance are present in these numbers. And now we have the last question, which is to round off the given values up to three significant figures. So your question here is to round off up to three significant figures. So for that, we need to find out for each of this. So your first question is 34.216. 
Now, when you round off this value, it is below 5. This number after the decimal is below 5. So, the number will remain the same. And when you round off, it will be 34.2 itself. This is below 5. So, it will remain the same. Now, in the next one, you have 10.4107. This number soon after the decimal is below 5. So, the number here will remain as 10.4 itself. The third one is 0 0.0459. Now here if you see, after 4 you have 5 here and 9. 5, 9 you can actually round it off. So here you will get 0 0.046 as your answer. You can round off the value. And the last one is 2808. Here you can round this off to 2810. So now you can round off these values depending on whether the number here is greater than 5 or lesser than 5 and accordingly round off. Where we are going to apply these is when we do numericals. Sometimes the values can be very big. So we generally round off the values and write it down. So that is where these are, concepts are going to be applied. Your significant figures and scientific notation. I hope this video was helpful in identifying significant figures and scientific notation.